Hey everyone, Allison here from Team Protocase with another Prototech tip. Today I'm going to cover hybrid enclosures. So our mission here at Protocase is to help you keep your projects on track and meet important deadlines. So we make your custom enclosures, parts, panels, and gaskets quickly and in the exact quantity you need. When it comes to enclosures, there's many different styles and they range from simple to more complex. Cody did a guide to all the enclosure styles we offer here at Protocase. Check out the description below for the link. Several years ago, we came up with a new enclosure style that combined parts of three different enclosure types and called it the hybrid enclosure. Hybrid enclosures use a combination of extruded aluminum sides, sheet metal top and bottom panels, and CNC machined front and back plates. Extruded aluminum sides are sometimes referred to as sliding rails or slide rails. They're really useful for creating enclosures to fit a printed circuit board because the extrusion has many slots for mounting the PCB at the correct height for what you need. Think of hybrid enclosures as the stronger, slightly more sophisticated sibling to the extruded enclosure. The machined front and back panels give the enclosure extra sturdiness compared to thinner sheet metal. And because the panels are CNC milled with the cutouts and other features that you need, you can also opt for the panels to have milling specific features like pockets, grooves, and chamfers. Let's go through a few other design need to knows for hybrid enclosures. So we stock two different heights of 6063 aluminum extrusions, 1U, which is 1.72 inches high, and 2U, which measures 3.47 inches high. If you require a custom or non-stock extrusion, we can source it for you for an additional charge and extended lead time. The top and bottom panels must be 64 thou 5052 aluminum in order to properly fit the aluminum extrusion slots. The front and rear panels are made from 6061 aluminum as that's the type of aluminum that's best for CNC machining. We've got a table on our website that lists all of the important dimensions to keep in mind when designing your hybrid enclosures, including your maximum and minimum lengths and widths and the external and internal heights. Let's talk finishes. Because hybrid enclosures are made up of three different items, you have some flexibility in how you want your finishes applied. You can either apply a finish to the entire enclosure or you can go part by part. You can opt for powder coat, chem film coating, grained finish, vibratory finish with masking in areas that you need masks. One caveat though, we do not recommend applying anodizing to aluminum extrusions, but the extrusions can be powder coated or chem filmed. Similarly, you can opt to have the front, rear, top, and bottom panels of your hybrid enclosure marked or decorated with digital printing, silk screening, laser marking, machine engraving, or dot peening. But again, your graphics or marking should not go on the aluminum extrusions. So to sum things up, hybrid enclosures are an awesome option for easily mounting printed circuit boards, especially if you require some extra durability or recessed pockets for mounting components on your front or rear panel. For more information, check out our website, which has some specific design resources for enclosures that use aluminum extrusions. We've also got links to other Prototech tips that you may find helpful, including a tech tip devoted to enclosures with extruded aluminum. Thanks very much for watching this week's Prototech tip. Let us know in the comments if you've got a topic that you'd like to see covered. See you back here next Tuesday.